In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy any object on a path and do it automatically, so you don't have to do anything after that. Um, you can use it for copying lights, scattering leaves, putting leaves inside of shape, or some kind of CAD application. So let's get into it. First thing first, you need to create object you want to clone. So in this case, it's a light uh, and group it. After that, you can clone it by clicking this and convert it to the marker. So select your clone and go to the object to marker. So now we need the shape to copy to. So I'm just going to draw a simple shape. Don't forget to turn this on. It will be important later. So let me draw this kind of shape. This is fine. And now go to path. FX, it will open this dialog and I'm going to show you how these FX work. So you can see these points. Now, if we go to fill and stroke panel, which you can launch by clicking this and clicking this, the first marker, Inkscape doesn't show it to you, but this is your new mic marker. So you can see it copies or rather clones the, the marker on the specific point. So this is almost doing what we want, but we want them to be more even. So you can do that by simply uh, adding effect roughen. So just look for it and add it. And by default, it's going to give you too many st steps. So let's go for something more reasonable, like create a point every 60 pixel and this is this is better and we also want to turn off the shifting nodes because we want to preserve our original path let's say we are reasonably happy with this but we have a few problems so first is that our lights are too big so we can edit it by going to our original shape double click it you can see we are inside of group and select the all of the objects inside this group. Now we can make them smaller and offset it to put it on the path. So put it higher. And now it's sitting on the path. Uh, one more detail. By scaling it, I can see that I destroyed my shape, but we are still able to fix this. So I'm just going to fix it and this is pretty useful and that's it. Only thing missing is uh, lights on the first and last point and you can do that by just going here and selecting your path and adding it to the first and the last point. And this is it and this is pretty powerful because you can be lazy and test many things. Just stretch it and it will clone. You can make them lo lots of them by making the number smaller or you can make less of them but i think i like 40 that looks pretty good okay uh, you can even change color uh, so let's change it to blue or orange or whatever it's it's working and i'm going to use, show you more use cases for this effect so for this, I drawn a few lines and then I selected them all and go to the path, combine, it will combine them and then did the same thing as before. So created a leaf, duplicating it, convert it to the marker and go here and uh, change it, add it, roughen to add more points and change this from along the notes to random and changing these two numbers and you can control the randomness by these numbers so we can make it less random by decreasing this number and making it more random by making this number bigger then you can also put leaves inside of the shape so in this case it's a rectangle and you can do it by let me turn on the stroke uh, by adding effect uh, hatches. You can look for it. Hatches and this will create 
hatches inside and turn everything to the zero and turn off the generate thickness and then again add roughness and you can add randomness and you can control how many leaves are inside by decreasing or increasing these numbers so let's add more of them and you can control randomness by increasing or decreasing this number this is pretty huge number so and we don't need stroke and this is really fast way how to create many leaves you can generate lots of lots of leaves um, one more thing this is basically the same thing as before I wanted to show you what you can do if you want edit one specific clone so let's say I want to change this screw to be blue so uh, you have to outline this effect by selecting your path and clicking this command or going to path stroke to path and after that it's going to be cloned still so you can choose so it's still linked to this so if I change my mind and I want to change the shape of this screw I just delete it and it still updates but uh, it's not lo it's no longer on the path so I can change position of all of them you can see that but if I want to change style I have to unlink it by clicking this and then I can change this screw to be green because this one is specifically important so that's it I hope you find it useful let me know in the comments